In this illustration, we'll discuss about a cannon firing a shell while sliding on an inclined plane. Here we are given that a cannon of mass m starts sliding freely down a smooth inclined plane at an angle alpha to horizontal. And after the cannon covered a distance l, a shot of mass m was fired in horizontal direction with a speed v, due to which just after a shot, cannon is stopped. If the mass of shot is very small compared to m, we are required to find the duration of shot. Here we can draw the situation to understand it. Say if this is the inclined plane of inclination alpha, and a cannon is sliding down with its barrel in horizontal direction. And in this situation, if a cannon fires a shot. Then in the shot, the shell comes out with the speed v, and due to which we can say on the shell an impulse j is imparted by the cannon, and on cannon the same impulse j is imparted in opposite direction. And say if it has a sliding of distance l, then it will be having a speed u. In the direction of incline, and we can say after a sliding, a distance l, the speed of cannon is this is speed u. We can write as root of two g l sine alpha. Because it is sliding with an acceleration g sine alpha, and it slides down by a distance l, and then shot is fired. So just after the shot, the cannon is stopped. So here we can write impulse momentum equation momentum equation for the duration of shot. Which can be written as time of shot is approximately delta t. Then we can write that initial momentum of a cannon is m u. It is experiencing an impulse g in opposite direction, so we can write minus g cos alpha is along the direction of motion of a cannon. And its weight is acting in downward direction. So impulse due to its weight can be written as mg sine alpha delta t, and this should be equals to zero, as we are given that cannon is stopped. As we can write, cannon is stopped just after a shot. So its momentum should become zero. And here the value of j we can write as m v the momentum of the shell, which is fired. So we can put it again over here. It is m u we can substitute as root of two g l sine alpha minus m v cos alpha plus m g sine alpha delta t. This is equals to zero. And on simplifying this. Value we can directly get the value of delta t, which is equals to m v cos alpha minus capital M root two g l sine alpha divided by capital M g sine alpha. This is the final result of this problem.